What's going on, fam? It's the entertainer, motivated, educator, Lucky Mary, back with another, eh, not game cocks today. We're doing Carolina Panthers. So this year, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to report more on the Carolina Panthers uh, because I'm a big Carolina Panthers fan. Um, I'm also going to do game cocks all day and local college stuff. And also on Friday nights, yes, your boy Lucky Mary going to go back and do uh, high school football. But what I want to do right now, I just want to uh, just talk about Matt Carell. Last year, I didn't really talk a lot about the game. I mean, the Carolina Panthers. I wasn't really interested, but this year, <clears throat> I think it's a very interesting pick that they did uh, to draft Matt Carell. I think I saw him in a bowl game that he got hurt at. I think he was he was he was supposed to be drafted. Like, I think uh, one of the top you know five guys as far as quarterbacks uh, was drafted in the third round. Uh, I'm going to talk about why I think that he. Uh, it's probably going to be the starting quarterback uh, for the Carolina Panthers, probably like, uh, probably like uh, game four or five ish. That's just my belief. Uh, but before I go any further, man, here's what I need you to do. I got a Patreon, man. If you want to know more exclusive information, go to patreon.com forward slash Lucky Murray. Um, the link will be in the description below. Also, buy the merch, man. Big South Carolina fan. Got some more merch working out. So that would be in the link below as well. So. Um, if you can't do that, man, like the video, hit the subscribe button, also the notification bell, like the time I drop a video. So let's get into this, man. So right now, these are the four quarterbacks that are on the Carolina Panthers roster for the 2022 season. Right? We got Sam Darnold, which is projected to be the starter, but clearly was ready for prime time last year. Had a lot of turnovers. Uh, it was very, very bad. Um, we also got Matt Correll, which is the rookie, uh, has a prime opportunity to not only come to camp or work, but also get a start and not. Typically, do I like starting rookie quarterbacks? Depends on the situation. If you guys remember Cam Newton, when he was drafted to the Panthers back in 2011, um, he took our team that went from 1-15, I think, that year. I forget our record that year, but he really helped us uh, elevate our team to the point where by 2015, not 2015, excuse me. Uh, yeah, 2015. Yeah, yeah, I said it right. 2015, um, he was uh, the uh, NFL MVP. He also won the rookie of the year uh, that year that he was there. He also led us to the Super Bowl, which I, I think we was the better team, but the Denver Broncos were clearly had the better defense. <laughs> so why do I think this young man could start? I think one thing, I, I don't think Sam Donald is going to improve from last year. Sam Donald is what he is. You know, you can switch uh, uh, quarterback coaches. You can switch offensive coordinator. You can do all the different things. Uh, Sam Donald has proven in the NFL that he is a turnover machine. So uh, you cannot keep your job in the NFL if you continue to turn over the ball. That's number one. Number two, I think that Sam Donald days are numbered in Carolina. Also, uh Matt Rule. I was not a big fan of the hire for Matt Rule. I think a few things why I think that. Number one, it's very rare that college coaches could come into the NFL game and do very well. If you look at somebody like Pete Carell, if you look at somebody like uh, Pete Carell, I'm trying to think of a, a, a Jimmy Johnson. If you look at Jimmy Johnson, but that was like in the 90s where he was a college coach, uh, led Miami to a, to a national championship, then came to the NFL, uh, led the Dallas Cowboys to three, consecu the three consecutive uh, Super Bowl championships. But other than that, it's not really a whole lot of college coaches that come into here and, 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 and does damage, right? So what we're going to do is uh, I think that uh, Matt Rule is probably – the, the rule and not the exception. I think that this is last year. Uh, the the wacky like what they did last year, not last year by trading for Sam Donald, which I thought that we shouldn't have. Um, signing Teddy Bridgewater, which I thought that you know they tried to make him the scapegoat. I, I just feel like this team right here, um, are probably going to be looking for another coach if uh if the owner does not get rid of Matt Rule. If he doesn't approve, I don't care. I don't. I, I, we need to have a winning record. I don't care if we are proving slightly by slightly every single year. This is not college, okay? We're not. We're not 
college is compared by, you know, slight improvements. In the NFL, it's staff for not for longer if you can't get the job done. So here's what I need you to do, guys. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Get us an entertainer, motivator, educator. Please don't forget all three. Like you Murray talking about the Carolina Panthers. Uh, Matt Corral probably is going to be the next starting quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. But like always, until next time, people.